Okay, in this video I'm going to show you that there's a tool that will help you install the hacks from the uh, Bitsy Hacks repo without doing it manually. So let's take a look at that. First I want to show you this game where I have a skater and he's skating over these hot coals and it looks a little clunky because the um, you know he replaces the hot coal tile which is fine. Everything about Bitsy is a little clunky but I'd like it to be um, trans I'd like him to be transparent so when he goes over the coals it looks like the coals are behind him instead of just being overwritten by him. So uh, there is something here called transparent sprites. So uh, that includes the avatar. So um, I would like to install this, and you don't have to, unlike the other uh, animation on sprites one that I showed, you don't have to do anything. It just makes it so that unless you specify otherwise, all of the sprites are transparent, So, um, meaning they have a transparent background to them. So I could install this manually using the instructions here at the bottom like we did before. But if you look on the bottom of this uh, page at the repo, it tells you that there's this tool called Borksy. So where is the... Borksy? Borksy, right there. So uh, it says Hack Helper. I will open Borksy and show you what that looks like. So there's a lot of information here. You can read this. Uh, there are only some of the hacks here. Um, they don't all work. In fact, the one that I showed before with the sprite animation um, isn't isn't uh, one of them, but transparent sprites is. So let's see what you do. You basically just kind of go down and uh, down the list here and edit each of these fields, and then you'll be able to download an HTML file. So uh, let's say this is skater game, and this is the actual title of the HTML file. Um, and then the Bitsy version, 7.2. If I wasn't sure about that, I could go back to Bitsy and click About. And there's the 7.2. And game data. So this is the game data that's coming from Bitsy. Now, uh, that means we essentially have to copy the game data from Bitsy. I will highlight and copy and then paste it in here. Highlight everything and paste. Then uh, there's more information about the HTML page. I'm not going to change any of that. You just go down here now and choose all the hacks that you want to install. So it tries to make sure that they don't overlap in a bad way. Uh, they don't conflict with each other. So let's find transparent sprites right there. You click on it and choose I want it. Uh, there are options. If you look in here, you can say which specific sprites or a specific category of sprites uh, are transparent. If you leave it alone, it'll do all of them. And that's all that information is in the uh, inf in the readme having to do with transparent sprites if you wanted to look it up. So I will now just click download file. And now I've got my, uh, I'll call it Borkseed Skater. And if I hit save and try this game, I should see that my guy has now a transparent background. And I think, yeah, these aren't these aren't walls right now, so uh, I can even go over these and have a transparent background. So uh, that's that's Borksy. It allows you to use most of the uh, hacks that are in the repo here, and um, it allows you to select multiple ones. You still have this issue that you've got a version of your game, this Borkseed Skater.html, that you can use, but you can't edit it here in the editor. You can't see the uh, hacks taking effect, but more importantly, if you make changes to the game and download it, you have to go through Borksy again to add those um, hacks at the end. So the next thing I'll show you is a whole different tool that allows you to kind of maintain the hacks and not have to always add them at the last minute when you export your game as HTML.